Hey guys, no one left behind. Back again with Babylon Rising walkthrough, stage seven. Uh, once again, you're allowed to pick your elements. I went with the primary as the earth element and the secondary as the water element. Uh, that water element, I mean, you just can't trade it off for any of the other ones for its ability to slow them down. This one is actually going to get a lot tougher. Uh, the objective here is to allow 25 cursed jars get by you without destroying them. After a minute or so, they'll vanish on their own. So what you want to do is you want to use the rock ability to essentially take out everybody that gets near the clay pots. And the uh, cursed jars, they will be dropped off. A little bit before the end of the furthest point the humans have progressed to. So just keep trying to focus on both sides, you know, rotating around rather quickly. Focus on is what the clay pots or the curse jars uh, do. I mean, it, what happens is, is if you hit one with one of your abilities, uh, it will block out your ability so you can't use it. Um, this can be really troublesome because if you can't use one of your abilities uh, people just kind of get to go unimpeded. So just keep rolling back and forth trying to focus on these guys. Remember the main objective here is to allow these pots to go by so it doesn't matter what your score is or how many people you killed. The enemies are just going to keep coming in until you get those 25. Just remember to keep rotating your abilities. Um, see, once you have a little more room on these towers, uh, the pots get spread out a little further, so it's easier to get to the enemies and avoid the pots. So you might as well even just allow the humans to get past you a little bit, just so you can move this level. Although, don't let them go too far, because you, know, you, you hit the wrong ability, like say you prefer the little boulder, uh, single boulder on people. If that gets blocked out for, say, 30 seconds, you're going to be in trouble if that's what you rely on most of the time. So just remember to keep cycling your abilities. Uh, that rain really comes in handy. And try to get the enemies so that you can watch both levels at the same time. I just, I guess I got tired of flipping back and forth. And I don't mind having to focus on two levels rather than running back and forth to keep them a little lower. Also, I guess one thing I noticed about this playthrough was that well, the Earth ability helps you to get you know the other enemies uh, near the clay pots without actually destroying the clay pots. The its final ability it's really ineffective when there's two sides that. Are coming up at the same time because the ability only can ultimately take out half of the enemies that are messing with you. I mean, I guess that allows for you to catch up on the other side. But still, I, I think that you could probably get a. I guess I'd go with the wind power instead if I were to choose something different. And uh, as you see there, I, I used the ability, the final ability for Earth. And it did help me catch up on the other side, which and see how the pots moving past and I'm trying to avoid them. You know, it's probably safe to say that if there's even maybe just one guy next to the pot that you just focus on the enemies, you know, after that guy, it's okay to let a few go through. You just don't want to get out of control. See, the tower's already getting pretty big, and I still have 21 guys left to go, so we're kind of in danger territory already. Um, and I know that the end of this match is a super close call. I mean, I think I probably had one or two workers left to get through, and I would have lost. So it's okay to cut it close. I mean, your life can be won, but as long as you win, I mean, it's all good. Bring in the flood and push up on the right analog stick. Let's see up a little further. Uh, try to take care of these guys. 
Yeah, see, you're almost at the top. But that leveled everything out, that flood. See, the flood and the rain, I mean, that makes, in my opinion, the water ability the number one ability. Uh, the secondary fire kind of sucks. Uh, I mean, compared to the rift, which is really fast and hits a whole bunch of people. And the firewall, I mean, the secondary ability for water is just no good. I think it's about time to cut to some music. I'll let it play through. If I need to, I'll jump back in. And I'll see you at the end of this. I guess uh, one more important thing to note would be that um, if you're going to have to take out some of the cursed jars, try to do so with the ultimate abilities. And remember to cycle out your abilities. Like You don't want to use both mega abilities around the same time period. You want to use one and then a few minutes later you want to use the other. Um, also really important to notice is that while your ultimate ability is blocked out, it won't charge up for the kills you get with the, the affinity type. So just keep that in mind. It's really not that big a deal. Uh, the curse pot thing wears off. You just don't want to hit a whole bunch back to back to back. And I guess we'll cut back to the music. That's about it.
Alright guys, so I'm almost dead, but that flood just bought me some time as long as I can fend off the last few guys here. I only need five more clay pots or curse jars to go through for the win. And I think that's about to happen down to four, about to be down to three. I think we can handle three more left with a fresh start. Here come the new, next few waves. <clears throat> this one's going to be a tight one. So, yeah, there goes one. There's another one up there. So that's two. I'm just keep them away. Use those reins, slow down the guys. Stay on one side, stay really focused right here. If you get this far, you die now. I, oh man, I hate it for you. So, we're down to three left, but I think we're getting close. Just knocked off one. There's one about to go down. There's two. My third on the other side. You just literally just need to keep from dying now. Two, two left to go. Almost there. And look at that. Keeping a combo rolling. That's what's up. And there it is. Victory. This is No One Left Behind. Signing out. See you in the next episode.